This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Okay, good morning, Rabbi Sai. Welcome, everyone, to the Koilel Agra de Pirka here in Kew Garden Hills, New York, or B'chomakim Shenimsa. Uh, we have a very interesting subject today. Uh, instead of focusing on specifically Parshas HaShavua, we are going to discuss a topic which is relevant to Torah in general. Now, one of the reasons why I'm discussing it is we're working on a Sefer on Bereshus, and I was thinking about, as an introduction to Chumash in general, very often we hear that there are many Perushim on one Pasuk. We know that Bereshus has, uh, excuse, uh, that Torah has Pardes, Pshat, Remez, Drush, and Soid. So that means there are for sure four perushim on every pasuk, let's say. And then we have a concept that there's even more than that. There's shivim panim la toira. There's 70 faces of the toira. So that's more than pshat rem as drushan side. And then we're going to see that perhaps there are even more than uh, shivim. And that's something I want to explore today. We're going to begin with the Sefer Chaim Tehila. And the Chaim Tchila was written by Reb Chaim Falaji. And by the way, the reason I, Reb Chaim Falaji wrote 200 or so Perushim to connect the end of the Torah to the beginning of the Torah. And he said that the real reason he wrote the Sefer is because in the month of Tishrei, because of the interruption of the Yom Naram, Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur and Sukkot, it leaves very little time for one's regular Torah study. And People are very busy during this time of the year. People are get preparing for Yom Tif. People are getting their Sukkah ready or their Dalit Minim Rebbe ready. And uh, so on and so forth. And people don't really have the regular amount of time that they usually have. And therefore, Reb Chaim Falaji said, since people are sort of reduced to a moment here and a minute there, he, he wanted people to, to have the availability and opportunity to be able to take advantage of those moments that they have, and he wrote a Sefer, and he actually printed it in a very small size, so that people could carry it around with them. And he writes, I am occupied today in explaining different ways to connect the end of the Torah to the beginning. About 200 Perushim. And he begins, And how beautiful are the words of my master, the rabbi of this location, Chassid Shabikuhuna, in the Sefer, Ezer Eliyahu. So let's begin with the following principle, and that is, Ezer Eliyahu was written by none other than Rebbe Eliyahu HaKoyhen of Izmir, the Baal Shevet Moser. He was the rabbi in Izmir in Turkey. And he brings the following question. Sha'aluni al Maimer Chazal, Sha'ha Torah Nidreshis Ba'ayim Panim. We know the Torah has 70 faces. Where is there a Makar that the Torah has 70 perspectives? The Medr Shraba says, Shivim Shekel Beshekel Akoidesh. Lama, Kishem, Shayayin, Cheshboinoi, Shivim, Kachi Shivim Panalatar. Just like wine has a numerical value of 70, so too there are 70 perspectives on the Torah. Uh, the question is, that the Ezer Eliyahu asks, Shaluni al-Maymer Chazal Shatan Rejaz Be'ayim Panim, Shekol Chacham Darish HaPosik Yachad Yosem Yishem Panim. Every rabbi has more than 70 interpretations of the Pasuk. For example, the Megala Amukais, who is Doresh Vaes Chanan, 252 Panim. The Shaala Rabbim, the Ka'ila Rabbim. There are many rabbis who compose Svarim of more than 70 Perushim on one Pasuk. So, how could you say Shivim Panam La Taira? But look, all these rabbis, they have uh, countless, hundreds of Perush. So, you say, okay, maybe a rabbi has 200 Perushim, and hopefully 70 of them are right. <laughs> but we, we would have to assume that if these great Achroinim, wrote and spent time delving into and trying to expound so many perushim, there's got to be more than 70. 
So he says as follows, V'heshavti, I answered, Shehakavona ayim panam l'toyro l'chol echad mi Yisrael. Every Jew has 70 perushim. V'yisrael ein pachos mi samach riba. And there are no less than 600,000 Jews. V'nimsa sheshivim panam l'chol echad mi shishim riba. Oila, masha oila. So you know how many perushim there are? 70 times 600,000. Somebody want to do the math? Seven... Um, 42 million perushim? Yeah? I think 40, so that means he's saying they're basically 42 million perushim. Umi sha'aymer alin yinachad yosim yayin perushim, someone who says more than 70, aye, but every Jew only has 70. Noita chelech haver shal esek betayra. He takes his friend's share. So if somebody says 100, 70 are his, and 30 are the guy next to him in the base medrash who falls asleep during shir, he's able to chap on 30 from someone else. That which it was worthy for your friend to innovate, he's innovating it. And therefore he takes his share in Gan Edim. You basically, the same way you could take your friend's shir in Gan Eden, you could take his chilek in Torah. Because one is only zoicha to chilek in Gan Eden through his esek ha Torah. And since what you could have been mechadesh your friend was, therefore you're zoicha to his chilek in Gan Eden. Okay, so that's the first answer. The stira is, in one place it says, Shivim Panim La Torah, and many rabbis compose more than Shivim Panim. The answer is, 70 for every Jew. So 42 million perushim. Then the uh, Rav Chaim Falaji brings, excuse me, then the Shevet Musar brings, Oid Yeshalimar, B'masha Omru Ayim Panim, Lav Davka Shivim. When Chazal say 70, they don't mean Davka 70, Elahu, Milashain aleven achas shiva inayim. But instead is on one stone seven eyes. Ulamala hatoisis nakat shivim veloi shiva lamal yusa shal taira. Ula oilam shal kol echad yesh el yadu lam rabachoin yoisme ayipan. Seventy is just an expression. Seventy is just a way of saying a lot in honor of the taira. But in reality, there are more than seventy. So right now, we're, the starting point is, there's Shivim Perushim Latayra. What does that mean? Either 70 for every Jew, or it's just an expression. So, but right now, Reb Chaim Falaji tries his hand at tackling this issue, namely, <coughs> what does it mean, Shivim Panam Latayra, if we find that there are Rabbanim who say more than 70 Perushim? So it says, Reb Chaim Falaji, V'li ha'hed yoy I, to me, the simple one, he says in his modesty and humility, it would seem to me, Yishavacher. And that is the Torah is expounded in four ways. Pshat Rem is Drush inside. And therefore, when Chazal says, Shem Pan Torah, each one of the four ways of expounding the Torah, there's 70 Pshat, there's 70 Soid, there's 70 Remez, and there's 70 uh, Soid. And it is good to Hashem that like a fat cow. And that's a play on words because par is gematria 280. So it says Rabbi Chaim Falaji, they're really 280 perushim. 70 for all four dimensions of Tyra. And I would humbly like to suggest a new approach to tackle this question. Namely, if there's Shivim Panam Latayra, how come we find sometimes uh, Chachamim offering more than 70 Perushim? And now I want to uh, uh, bring the following amazing teaching, and that is, even though we learned there's Shivim Panam Latayra, I want to bring sources that there are more than 70 Perushim. In fact, there are 600,000 perushim on every single pasuk. <coughs> okay? And that's why people want to know. You know, I heard that, I heard that. No, every year we learn new perushim, new ideas, new concepts, and, uh, and it's amazing how endless the Torah is. But in the Sefer, 
Yalkut Chadash of Rabbi Yisra Mi Balzitz. He says, Haklalois Hanashama Seim Shishim Ribai. The total number of general souls in Klal Yisra are 600,000. And the Torah is the source of all the souls of Israel. Every Pasuk in the Torah has 600,000 Perushim. Every soul was created by a different Perush on the Torah. Ula Asid Kalechad Yikra Hatayra Kafisha Pirish Hamavioloi Ashamisham Nivres Nishmasai. In the future, everyone's going to read the Torah in accordance with the Perush that produced his soul. So one guy was born from the Malbum's Pshat, and one guy was born from the Chidaz Pshat, and one guy was born from the Chsam Soifer, and one guy was born from the Kasav Soifer, and one guy was born from the Gra. And one guy was born from... Everyone has their root in the Torah, 600,000 Perushim, which give, gave birth to 600,000 Jews. There are many souls that their soul was created from many Perushim. Moshe Rabbeinu was created from the whole Klal Yisrael. And every night when you go to sleep, if your your soul goes up. The you're going to read the that Shai was created in a different pasuk. And at night you read. So actually, the Yalkut Chadar says, different than Reb Chaim Falaji. It's not that there are, oh, that basically, that there are 600,000 Perushim in Pshat, in Agada, and in Kabbalah. That's actually similar to what Reb Chaim Falaji says, namely, that there are 600,000 Perushim in Pshat Remez Drush inside. Again, we're trying to answer the stira, is it Shivim Panam Latayra, or is it more than that? So what Rabbi Chaim Falaji said is, there's Shivim Panam Latayra in each one of the four Chalakim, Pshat, Remez, Drush, and Said. But now we're learning, there are more than 70 in each one, there's 600,000 in each one. So that begs the question, now we really have a stira, is it Shivim Panam Latayra? Or is it Shishim Riboy Perushim Latayra? Are there 70 Perushim or are there 600,000? Now, we come to the Sefer Chesed Li Avram. Who's the Chesed Li Avram? So we all know that the Chesed Li Avram is the grandfather of the Chida. Now, how do we know he's the grandfather of the Chida? Because the Chida always calls the Chesed Li Avram, Rabbi Avram Azulai, his grandfather. The question is, like we always say over, that the, he was not the grandfather of the Chida, but he was the great-great-grandfather of the Chida. So, it's a stira. And who asked the stira? Uh, the Chida himself. In Shal Tzachubah's Chayim Sha'al, Chelek Aleph, Simen Samaches. He asked, why do I call the Chesed Le'Avram my grandfather when he's my great-great-grandfather? And if you want to see the tshuva inside... There's this really nice sefer called El Akadamer Aneni on page test. It goes through the whole Arichos. Check it out. By the way, yesterday, yesterday um, we went to the second print on El Akadamer Aneni. I added material to the sefer. So you say, I already bought it. So I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it to you now. The second edition. I just added one paragraph, but it's a very interesting. If you remember, one of the questions we had in the sefer was that the goyim are not the children of Hashem. Yeah. But the question is, what about B'ni B'chayri Yisrael? B'ni B'chayri Yisrael is mashma that the Gentiles are the children of Hashem and we're the firstborn. That's chapter 5 in the Sefer. I found 
Last week, um, the Avos Rav Nasan, a beautiful comment in Avos Rav Nasan. The Avos Rav Nasan says, Klal Yisrael are the Banim of Hashem, Shenemar Banim Atam Hashem Lekechem, and the Malachi Hashores are the Banim of Hashem. Shenemar, Vayavoyu Bnei Ho'alekem. And we don't know, who does God love more? The children of Israel or the angels? Comes the Pasuk, Bnei B'chayre Yisrael, and it says, Hashem loves us more, because even though they're Banim, but we're the Bechar. So by the way, the whole chapter 5, which is really the Kasha of Rabbi Hanan and Rav Hutner, we have a very simple answer to now. The answer is, no, the Umay Sa'ilam are not Banim. Bani B'chor Yisrael is not as opposed to the Umay Sa'ilam. Bani B'chor Yisrael is as opposed to the Malachi Asharis. Okay, now, <clears throat> let's see the Chesed Li Avram. Chesed Avram says, Veda, Ki Klolois Kol Anashama Yisheim Samach Riba. There are 600,000 souls. So basically, the Chesav Rav Ram seems to be matik the lashon of the Yalkut Chadash. Now, Ula Asud Lavoi Kol Echad the Echad Yisrael Yikra Viyodea Kol Turk Viyapir Shem Megillah Shosh Al Yadai Nivra V'Chein It Began Edem. Fine. Veda he said. The Arizal could look at you and he could peg you. He could say, you, you're a Malbam, you're a Chsam Soifer, you're a Chida, you're a Ben La'ashri, you're a Radak, you're a Sfarno, you're a Ramban, you're an Ibn Ezra. The Arizal could look at you and see who produced your commentary. That Rizal says, knowing this could elevate your soul because now you could learn the perush that conceived you. So to me that's an amazing concept to, to be able to access what type of perush of Torah did a person come from. Veda, you should know, Kisamach Riboy Perushim Aneskarim Him Kafi Abshat. 600,000 Perushim according to Pshat. 600,000 Perushim by Agada. 600,000 by Kabbalah. There is no soul that does not incorporate all of them. By the way, this I, now this idea, which is an astounding idea, that every Pasuk and Chumash has 600,000 Perushim is also codified by the Chida, the great-great-grandson of the Chesli Avram. He writes in the Midbar Kedemus, Da Shabatoira ye shishimri perushim ye abshat, kenegdam ye shishimri ba gada, shishimri ba kabbalah, b'chol kei ha and there's no Nishon that doesn't have all of them, mi zikni ha chesli Avram. Now I want to show you something amazing. I had learned this many years ago, maybe 15 years ago, that every perush in Chumash has 600,000 perushim, and I saw it in the Sefer Shmiras Halashain. And luckily I was able to find it. The Chavaz Chaim says, Ki be'emes in keitz l'kdushas ha-toira, k'may sh'amru chazal, she'yeshishim riboy perushim l'chol pasuk u pasuk ba-toira. There are more than 600,000, there are 600,000 perushim for every pasuk in the Torah. Um, now, to me, it would still be somewhat of a stira to Shivim Panim Latoira. Shivim Panim Latoira. Because Are there Shivim Panama Torah or are there 600,000? So Reb Chaim Falaji said there's Shivim Panama Torah for all the four Pshat Remez Rush and Said. The Yalkut Chadr says there's Shishim Riboy for Pshat Remez Rush and Said. Nobody says that there's 600,000 for all the 70 Panama Torah. But I would like to offer the following suggestion, which I think is. Very simple and clear. But first let's read the Megala Amukais.
We know that the middle words of the Torah are Daroish, Darash, Moshe, Vihine, Sairaf. <coughs> there is a uh, tradition of how to write these words. Daroish, Darash, Moshe, the first word Darash has to be at the end of a line. And the second Darash has to be at the beginning of a line. Why? To teach that there's no end and no investigation for uh, delving into the Torah and the secrets. As soon as you finish the first darash, and you think, okay, I finished darshaning, I finished achieving, I finished understanding, I've reached the pinnacle. No, you need to start again in Bereshus. You think you finished darash at the end of the line. You're just getting started. Just when, just when you think you're finished, you're just getting started. You know where we can learn this from? From Moshe, right? We know the, the Megal Amukos wrote 252 Perushim on the Pasuk, Why? At that time when Moshe was 120 years old, and he said to God, you began to show Shahu Oimed Bitchilasa. You know what he said to God? God, I've been learning your Torah for 120 years. You brought me up to Arsina. You explained me every little detail of Torah. But nevertheless, You've just begun to show me the glory of your Torah. Shu Oimed Baschalaki Loyamayam Klum. Moshe Beno always. Considered it as if he never learned anything. V'tama davar. You know why Moshe considered it? V'hine darash, darash, Moshe, v'hine, and behold. Sairaf. Sairaf is the secret of Shishim, Riboy, Partsufim, 600,000 faces. Keneged, Shishim Riboy, Oisir Shabbatayra. You know why Moshe Rabbeinu, when he got to the final Darash, he realized he was only in the beginning, Dairash? Because Atah Hachiloisa, he realized whenever you learn Torah, you're just scratching the surface. He thought he was in the beginning. You know why? The Hinei Sairaf. Sairaf is Rashi Teva, Shishim Riboy, Partsufim. Or we're going to see Shishim Riboy, Perushim. Keneged, Shishim Riboy, Oisir Shabbatayra. Vachin Yeshachal Ois Betayra. Every letter of the Torah, Gam Kain Shishim Rim Partsufim, Shishim Rim Pshatim. Bezea Tam Kaimalan Kravashi Be Menachos. This is the reason why we Paschal like Ravashi and Menachos Be Perak Akoimetz. Shetzarach Lichtov Leine Kol Yisrael. You have to write to the eyes of all of Israel. Be Sefer Torah Be Emtza. Um, you need to write the words Leine Kol Yisrael in the middle of the line. You know that? When you finish um, Those words cannot be at the end of a line. They have to be in the middle of the line. To indicate that the end of the Torah cannot be investigated. Therefore it's in the middle of the line. To teach that it will not come to the end. So we have a very amazing tradition. The word darash, the first darash, the end of a line. The second, the um, darash, darash, darash at the end of the line, darash, the beginning of the line. Just when you think you've completed all of the drashas, darash, you've just begun. Le'ine Kal Yisrael has to be in the middle of the line. There is no investigating the end of the Torah. Why? There are 600,000 perushim. You can never uh, exhaust the depth of the Torah. And therefore the Reb Chaim Falaji quotes this teaching of the Yalkut Chadash that every chilek of Torah has 600,000 Perushim, and he quotes the Chesed Liavram, and he concludes as follows: L'chol ha'akdamos. According to all of these, <coughs> according to all of these introductory principles, Hatzada Shava Shavahem. The common denominator is the Himatze Himatze. You will find Sheyizka Adam Liyos Parshan the 
Parshandasa, a person could explain the law of the Perushim Rabbim. Up to 600,000 years to Gvul Lefarish. So basically, you're entitled to explain more than 600,000. Now, bottom line is, the way Rav Chaim Falaji answered the question, he said, Shivim Panim Latayra, of all four Pshat Remez, Rosh said they're Shivim. And then he says they're more than 600,000, but he never really got back to answer how you could reconcile 70 with 600,000. And that's what I think... Um, we could have a place to try to reconcile. How do you reconcile 70 and 600,000? But the bottom line is, if you want to write a perush on one letter in the Torah, you could write 600,000 perushim. And besides this, I said to myself, 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 I said who could determine what the 70 panim given on Sinai are? And who could tell if everything that a person records is really straight and not twisted? And we don't know how accurate what we're, our teachings are. And therefore, says Rechaim Falaji, even if I write 200, hopefully I got a couple of them correct. But again, we have not given a clear answer. How do we reconcile 70 with 600,000? Now, I want to tell you a remez that I just thought of. Because Megala Mukoy says that where is there a remez to 600,000 perushim in the Torah? In the Pasuk, Darosh, Darash, Moshe. Vihine Soiraf. You know why Moshe held that even though he learned so much, he was just at the beginning? Vihine Soiraf. Because Soiraf is Rashi Tevais, Shishim, Riboy, Perushim. But I would add, what about the word before Sairaf? Vihine. Now, Vihine has a numerical value of what? 66. However, Rabbi Sai, not so fast. Why? Because with the four letters, it's 70. So to me, it's mamish oyim and that even though the word soiraf is rashi tevos shishim riboy perushim, the word before vihine is gematria seventy. So which one is it? Is it vihine sixty six plus the four letters, or is it shishim riboy perushim? And let's uh, let me just show you where the chida in the nachal kedumim on shmini he brings darosh darash chatzia tayra darosh mikan darosh mikan avisha darosh atarv darosh atam says oisun. Even, the reason why it says Darosh Darash as the midway point of the Torah to teach, even though the earlier generations expounded many, many angles on the Torah, nevertheless, that's the first half. But you also, you should also continue to expound and receive reward. That's from Rabbeinu Ephraim. And the Chidah says you could explain this on the person himself. That even if a person himself spent a good chunk of his life teaching and expounding, you didn't stop. Continue. Darshan further. Like the Shlomo Melch says, Baboyker Zura Zarachol Erval Tanach Yodecha. And then he says, I found in a safe er, Kadmoin, maybe he means Megala Mukois, Ki Doroj Darash Besefer Torah, Darash Besoif Shita, Darash Betchila Shita, because the Torah is Arucha Meeretz Mida. And what, just when you think you got to the end of darshaning, you should know you didn't get even to the beginning. Why? Shishim, Ribui, Perushim. Or V'chein Zeh Sefer. Sefer is Samach, Ribui, Perushim. And I still would like to try to explain and answer what does, how do you reconcile 70 with 600,000? And I think the answer is very clear and simple. B'siyata d'shmaya. Why are there 600,000 perushim in the Torah? The Sefer Yalkut Chadar said, eh, there's 600,000 Jews. Every Jew is created from a different perush. Are there 600,000 Jews? Don't we have a tradition there, Shivim Nafesh? There's 70 Jews? We know, seven, so the answer is 70 Jews came at, down to Egypt, 600,000 Jews came out of Egypt. 
Look at Rabbeinu B'chayi. Rabbeinu B'chayi says, Kol ha-nefesh l'beis Yaakov ha-ba mitzrayim ha-shivim ha-yu shivim. Zulasi Yaakov, besides for Yaakov, shekeng siv ve-yehi kol nefesh yotzi yerach yagu shivim nefesh. And with him is 71. V'chein kasav esli shivim mishvim z'ikne Yisrael. And Moshe is 71. And the Sanhedrin Gedol was 70. And with the Nasi, 71. And the Umay Sarelam, 70. And Amiso, 71. And this all teaches me, this is a dogma of Maila, can I get the 70 Malachim that surround the Kisei HaKavad? Now, the Hizboinin B'zeh Ma'alasa Shal Yaakov Contemplate the attribute of Yaakov She'ne'et slu mikoi chay shivim nafesh That from him it was hewn out the 70 souls She'me'hem yoytse shishim riboy From the 70 came out the 600,000 K'nege the 70 names that are Netzah from the Shechina Which are no less than 600,000 And therefore Klal Yisrael was not roi to mekabel the Torah until they were Shishim Riboy, and then the Torah was given to them, Bahaskam Asakal. And that's why the Shechina does not reside in Klai, so only if there's 600,000. The bottom line is, it seems like there's a concept that Klai Yisrael is an entity of 600,000, but at their root, they're 60. Excuse me, they're 70. Number 12. This is from the commentary on Shir Hashirim of the Vilna Gain. And on the commentary of the Vilna Gain, there are footnotes by Reb Eliyahu Koyen, the son of Reb David Koyen, the Roshiv of Hebron. And he brings this very important idea. The entity number of Kal Yisrael is always 600,000. The roots same Shivim. And this is explicit in Rabbeinu B'chaye. We just read in Rabbeinu B'chaye that the, the wholesome number of Kaisal is 600,000, but at the root there's 70. And therefore, I think we would all humbly suggest now that there is no stira between the, the idea of Shivim Panam Latayra and Shishim Riboy Perushim Latayra. Because if after all, every Jew was created from the, one of the 600,000 Perushim Latayra, that means a Jew is an expression of Torah, and there's 600,000 expressions of Torah, and there are therefore 600,000 souls. So just like in Torah, there's 600,000 Jews, um, just like in Klal Yisrael, there's 600,000 Jews, but at the root, there's Shivim Nafesh. Well, that's in the reflection, but what about in the conception? If there are 70 Jews at the root, and 600,000 Jews as Anafim, then in the Torah that conceives Kla Yisrael, there's 600,000 Perushim, but they're also Shivim Panam La Torah. In other words, there's 70 roots of Torah and 600,000 branches of Torah. This, and that is, and the, that is, the symptom of that, and the reflection of that, and the manifestation of that is that Kla Yisrael goes down to Mitzrayim B'Shivim Nafesh, and they come out B'Shishim Riboy. So the entity of Klal Yisrael is a reflection of the state of the Torah. That's what I would suggest simply. And I did a search. And I found in a Sefer Pe'er Vahadar, who I believe he says this, he says, the Kavana of the Chida is, Ayim Panam La Torah are the Sharoshim of Klal Yisrael, of the Torah, Mehem Anafim Samach Riboy Panam. Just like the Yotze Yarech Yaakov, Rishim Nafesh, and are those other Shirashim and 600,000 in the Anafim. So that's how Aniyaz Daitik, Shani Atzmi, Lulei de Mistafina, I would answer the stira between Shivim Panam Latayra and Shishim Riboy Perushim, because Yisrael, the Oirai Sachadhu, we and the Torah one. And the same way the Torah. The same way then Klal Yisrael is 70 at the root, 600,000 in their breakdown. The same way in the Torah. However, I did see, find in the Shem Yishmuel that he may have a, a little bit of a different take on it. Because according to the way we're learning, there are 70 root perushim in the Torah and 600,000 capillaries, so to speak. The Shem Yishmuel sees it more as a development of the Torah 
and uh, as a reflection of the development of Klal Yisrael. And so instead of 70 root perushim and 600,000 um, branch perushim, but the Torah sort of developed. And he says as follows, the Shem Yishmuel of Sachachav says he heard from his father, the Avnei Nezer, the Avais were called the root of the Torah. How? The Shem Yishmuel explain, explains, This was the arrangement of the development of the Torah. At first the Avais were the root of the Torah. Then there were 13 Twelve sons and one father. Echad roimez Yaakov. Ches, the word echad is one for Yaakov. Ches, the, the children of the Shifchais. Dalad b'nei, oh, excuse me, Ches b'nei Hagvirois. Six of uh, Leah. Ruven Shimon Levi Yehuda Yisachar Zavulan. And then Rachel and Binyamin are far the eight. And then Dalad b'nei Hagvirois, Hashvachois. God, Asher, and uh, uh, God, Asher, and Don and Naphtali. Or the Cheshwan is Vav, Vah Aleph, Sharon is the Yaakov, Beemtsa. Vav, Aleph, Vav. Yaakov's in the middle of who misper Yud Gimel Midr Shatanid Reshes Behem. So at first, the Torah was 13, a remez to the Yud Gimel Midr Shatanid Reshes Behem, corresponding to the Yud Gimel Midr Savrachamim. So the Torah started off represented by the Avais and the Shvatim, 13, and that is a reflect, reflected in Yud Gimel Midrash Torah and Then you have Shivim Nefesh, that's the 70 Panam La Torah. Can I get the 70 Malachim that's encircled the Kisei? That from there the Shivim Sariya Umois developed. And then Shishim Riboy, can I get Shishim Riboy Oisya Shabbat Torah? Because then the Torah was given the Payal Al Klaf. The, as the Dover Gashmi and the Kedusha was Shara and the Geshem. So in other words, according to the Shemi Shmuel, it's an, it might be slightly different than what we said, that the Torah has 70 root perushim and 600,000 branches, but maybe, so to speak, the Torah actually further developed. It actually developed further. It was more, it became more developed from the Yud Gimel, Midot Shatan and Rosh Hashem, represented by Yaakov and his sons, to the Shivim Panam Latoya, represented by the Shivim Nafesh, to the 600,000 um, Oisios, which were reflective of the Shishim Riba Yisrael. It could be, he says, that when there were 70 souls of Klal Yisrael, at that point of time, even though the Torah was not given, there was a certain concept of Shivim Panam Latayra. But Mavra Abaisai, the Limud is that the Daraish is at the end of the line to indicate that as soon as you feel that you've exhausted every possible perspective on Torah, Darash, you're just getting started. We learned this from Moshe Rabbeinu. He said, Ata hachiloisa. At the end of the life of Moshe, he said, you've just begun to show me the grandeur of your Torah. And that is uh, why, Vihine sairaf, sairaf shishim riboy perushim. But we're adding a remez, Vihine, Vihine is gematria 70, that there are 70 perushim b'sharasham, and 600,000 Sairaf Be'anafam. Okay, Marav Rabbi have a wonderful day. Shkayach. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.